recently I came across a stunning design that has inspired me to recreate it. As an expert in web development, I'm excited to take on this challenge and share my approach with you. To achieve this animation, I have decided to limit myself by not using any additional JavaScript libraries, especially 3Gs. Firstly, I began by designing the three mountains which are the main focal point of the animation. After that, I moved on to creating the clouds and the sky which have been designed with the utmost attention to detail. To ensure the vector graphics used in the animations were scalable without any loss of quality, I decided to create an SVG tag and specify the SVG code. In this process, I used the viewbox attribute to define the position and the size of the SVG viewport, which is set to 1200 times 800. I have also made use of the mask element to create a transparent mask for other elements in the SVG, which gives a gradient effect to for the text further that appears over the cloud one image additionally i have loaded various png and jpg images including a sky image mountain in the background middle ground and foreground and several cloud images the animation incorporates the word explore and further in different color and positions and a polyline element creates an arrow that points to the word explore the further text is contained in a g element with the mask attribute that points to the m mask created earlier giving a gradient effect that follows the shape of the cloud. To add clickable areas for the users to interact with, I had placed a transparent rect element over the further text and an invisible clickable button with an ID attribute of arrow button over the explore text. I have defined this SVG inside the div class called main and created the div class scroll dist to set the width and height. Moving on to the CSS, I have defined a set of rules that dictate the website's appearance. The website has light gray background color with all text in a special font called Monstrat which is large in size. Additionally, the website is centered on the screen. Although I'm not using any JavaScript libraries, I'm utilizing the GreenShock animation platform, which is a JavaScript animation library that allows you to create complex animations and interactions for the website and web applications. To create a parallax effect, I'd use scroll trigger plugin from GACP. This effect is created when different elements on a web page move at different speeds to create a sense of depth and dimension. I have set the rules for the main element on the main page, making it fixed to the screen, setting its background color to white and centering it horizontally. Additionally, I have set the rules for element with the class scroll dist, which is used as a trigger for the scrolling animation. To create a timeline for animation with a scroll trigger, I have ensured that animation only begins when the user scrolls to a certain point on the page. I have created a method for animating an element from one set of CSS rules to another over a specific duration which has been used to animate various elements on the page including the background image of the sky and different mountain layers. Finally, I used jQuery to attach event listeners to an arrow button on the page. This triggered an animation that moved the arrow downwards when the user hovered over the button and another animation that scrolled the page downwards when the user clicks the button. Now with this all in place, the website should now be working and it was a fascinating experience and I couldn't help but notice that GSAP contains several plugins to animate the site such as draggable split text, motion path plugin, morph SVG plugin, and drawable SVG plugin. Integrating 3Js with this would be the masterpiece of all time, making you feel like you got access to the universe. With that said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.